I don't know, should I be concerned, worried, alarmed at these continued lapses where big leads disappear and now Golden State finds themselves in a game and as Steph Curry says, we got to win it twice. So uh, somewhat alarmed. When you look at it and you look at some of their lapses, giving up about 12 three-pointers, 14 three-pointers to Portland, giving up uh, a bevy of three-pointers and a loss to Dallas early and things of that nature. Certainly you look at them and you see a Golden State Warrior clearly superior to most teams in the league. No, they are. And as a result, there are lapses sort of taking teams for granted. The great, great teams in NBA history never did that. They put their foot on your throat and they squeezed. This is what they did. Golden State can do that, has done that on several occasions, but not always. Yep, And but they respond. Double-digit wins when they come through it. They certainly aren't timid when it comes to making shots in tight games. Okay, they are now the fastest team ever to 50 wins, 50 and 5. The last six teams that set that record went on to win the uh, championship. Will the tradition continue with Golden State? Or will the Warriors end it? If you have to bet your money, you bet that it will continue based on the way Steph Curry is playing. Remember, he's averaging better than 29 points per game. He's the league leading scorer, and there have been 16 times this year he hasn't even played in the fourth quarter. That's how dominant he is, and we know what Klay Thompson can do. But in the end, here's the bottom line. There's still a guy by the name of LeBron James in the Eastern Conference. There's still Kevin Love. There's still Kyrie Irving. And although the reigning defending NBA champions are chomping at the bit to get their hands on Cleveland because they're upset that everybody, could, so many people rather consider their title fraudulent, mm -hmm. the flip side to it is that LeBron James did push them up 2-1 to one in an NBA Final Series without the services of Kyrie and Kevin Love. So when you look at it from that perspective and the fact that Golden State is better, but Cleveland looks to be getting better as well despite their loss on Monday night to Detroit. I tell you something right now. It's a collision course that I would not mind seeing again. Not at all. I was gonna say, we like all those other teams, but we, we kind of like to see a rematch. Well, we want to see. We want you want to see a rematch because Golden State. I'm telling you, talking to these guys, they don't just want the title. They want Cleveland badly. Cleveland knows it, and they better be ready come NBA Finals time.